Hey everybody, we're back. What's he talking about? What's Konami Andrew? has been a staple of the PlayStation history. Oh, Konami. So you know Today, what's coming. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce a new trailer that some of you might have gotten a sneak peek of last night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's got a cute cheeky look. The Phantom Pain. Um, Ooh. By the way, uh, just a little quick rant. Konami had a scheduled a 3 a.m. goddamn press conference this morning, which I thankfully didn't fucking wake up for the actual conference for, but I woke up early to do it before Nintendo, to watch the recorded one before Nintendo. So I got up at about 6. They just didn't show up. They didn't cancel it. They just didn't do it. What? <laughs> so they had a countdown on their goddamn website. People stayed up till 3 fucking a.m. in the Jesus. morning to watch it. Thank God I didn't. And then it just didn't happen. And everyone's like, I don't even understand. And the most How? annoying part of it is the major media blogs, the same goddamn no blogs that shit? made me know that it was at 3 a.m., that reported on it last week, Konami will be doing a press conference at 3 a.m. On, on Tuesday, haven't reported on the fact that they didn't show up. Weird. All the blogs seem to be just like, oh, well. yeah, we knew about that, and we're not going to. Sorry, we didn't warn you. Maybe it's almost like they're, they feel ashamed or like that they didn't warn us. No that they didn't report on it ahead of time to warn people that now they just look just as stupid for not reporting on it? Yeah. No response from any of the major blogs that I tweeted. None of them responded to why they weren't covering it. Pretty fucking unprofessional. And more, not endearingly unprofessional, like one million troops yeah. is? Yeah. <laughs> just fucking unprofessional. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. here's their new trailer. First video, that's it, first of all, that's gotta be the first trailer I've ever seen that goes out of its way to let you know who directed and edited yeah. it. Yeah, it's true. But that's Hideo for ya. Oh, I did this. He's like a Tarantino of film. He th I think he said that actually about himself. <laughs> the man has too much power. Standing. On the edge of the crater, of like the prophets once said, and the ashes. Have we gotten a name for this song yet, guys? Or what? No, 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 Tell the tales. <laughs> Nuclear by Mike Oldfield. Hmm. Hmm. Who is Mike Old? Desolation. Devastation. What a mess we made. Ooh, throw it. When it all went wrong. What is that? Ashes. Watches. Things start to get a little weird oh, here. That would blow up in your face. And I'm, and I'm not talking about a ponytail. The circus. Snake is weird. The uh, <laughs> What's up, Snake? You alright? Just powder him a ball. <laughs> that, <laughs> that PTSD is really setting in, huh? Yeah. He looks like a kitty. He thinks he's Kratos, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Some bad gash he has in his head. Whoa! <laughs> 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 he gets bad. Oh, uh, the audience has told me that Diamond Dog, since this is the first time it's been mentioned in the Metal Gear universe, at least what they could remember. Is he familiar to you? Autocon? It's Autocon's dad, apparently. Autocon. It can't be Autocon. This is not Snake. Oh, uh, yeah. This is Big Boss, the Snake, the original Snake. No! Uh, it seems like a major theme in the film is child soldiers throughout. I really just don't want to see any more of their intestines after this, like after that Ground Zero cinematic. However, he has promised 
lots of torture. And I'm just not looking forward to that. I didn't like it in Grand Theft Auto and I don't want to see it anymore. I hate torture. at the lack of uh, reaction from you guys about the thong. Yeah, I noticed it. Metal yeah. Noticed it. <laughs> I don't know you guys anymore. I really it don't. Was, uh, 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 there's a lot of people getting stabbed in the face. Well, stuff. that's actually um, was my reaction. You know? Was was doesn't it seem? And I don't. I don't know if like a Metal Gear trailer plays as well with just a song all the way through. Oh, okay. It just feels a little. Well, that's the second one he's done now. It's kind of the same technique you just use twice in a row now. Um, but doesn't it feel out of place among that atmosphere? If he's going for a certain mood, oh, yeah. if he's going cer yeah. for a certain feel, why the blatant zoom in and TNA? Yeah. Like we all know, Hideo's always been really, really shameless, well, and and we've kind yeah. of loved him for it, right? Like he's always been the B movie type of yeah, style, yeah. ridiculous, over the top melodrama, TNA yeah. all over the place, and yes, in stark contrast to very serious yeah. war and gore and violence, Killing but maybe children. not quite as graphic as the gore that we saw during Ground Zeroes, the intestines spilling out of a of a young girl, um, and it's just that that he's really going for the, a real stark beating down your soul and spirit feel, but then yeah. he's still got that old, as we saw in Ground Zeroes again, melodrama with Kaz saying, she shut us up like fools, or what, what was the line? Anyway, something like that. Yeah. Um, and it's a, just that moment again, that zoom in on the thong just seems so out of place. It yeah, takes it, you, it took me out of the trailer. Yeah, and I'm the first person to be like, Panty! Panty! I was about to say something, I was like, I feel weird if I yeah, say right? something here. Yeah, really? yeah, right? Yeah, right? If same, you yeah. guys feel weird yeah. after watching the fucking Mortal Kombat trailer yeah, to man. say to point out TNA on this show yeah. where we fucking love TNA. In all its glory. This is this show is one of the biggest fans of fucking Dragon's uh, uh Dragon's Crown. Like we yeah. all dressed as the fucking sorceress. We're its number one fan. We love stupid sex. TNA, it's okay with us when it's used in the right scenarios. Mm. It just feels so, felt was just too, uh, to me ham-fisted and inappropriate and uh, pig-headed and ham-fisted the way that it was used. Kind of like that's my rant. Right video game chicks, and huh? I fucking stand by it. Yeah. You know that I'm the furthest from a fucking feminist, but God, it just <laughs> it, it just feels weird. It doesn't feel right. I think yeah. that um, uh, I think that Hideo's a little bit. A little bit of a hack, maybe. I think he's sloppy, and that um, the next generation of game is going to prove that he's not as talented as he thinks he is, and that we think he is. And this video maybe. might set the record for downvotes yeah. on YouTube. Oh, and I, I think look, it will. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm pretty gonna, sure it will. We'll see. I'm going for the record. <laughs> oh, yeah, our video. Our video, or this yes, video will. Ours. Yeah. No, that video is going to get tons of upvotes. <laughs> He's a well insulated. They've got their well insulated community. They love video. I used to. I, I think I still do. And I'm going yeah, to play through do. the old games. I just think that he needs to know his limits. And I think he's met them. I think he's reached them. And we'll see. But whatever. I should do a vlog on it. Goodbye. <laughs>